For about six months through the fall and winter of last year, right, the Republican presidential primary debates were the best show on television. It was like a really compelling reality show. During its heyday, there was a new episode every week, and then every week there'd be madcap antics and or outrage. Look, I'm not going to eat Barack Obama's dog food, all right? I will tell you, it's three agencies of government when I get there that are gone. Commerce, education, and the, uh, uh, what's the third one there? Let's see. I can't. The third one, I can't. Sorry. Oops. Take a loaf of bread. It does have five taxes in it right now. Oh, yeah, I need the government to take care of me. I don't want to use heroin, so I need these laws. You have a problem with allowing someone to finish speaking, speaking. and I suggest that if you want to become president of the United States, you got to let both people speak. One of the weirdest moments in the run of the Republican debate reality TV show came during a debate in September when Texas Governor Rick Perry took a brave stand against cancer. I hate cancer. I hate cancer. Bold. Also, I like puppies and good weather and afternoon naps. I think your mom's nice. I'm willing to say that in full view of the American people and take the consequences. In declaring his hatred of cancer, Rick Perry didn't seem to be taking a particularly controversial or courageous stand, but it turns out that actually is a controversial position for him to have taken. It hurt him. During that particular episode of the Republican debate reality show, Rick Perry was being denounced by his fellow candidates for trying to require Texas girls to get vaccinated at the age recommended by the CDC against the virus that causes most cervical cancer. Forcing 12-year-old girls to take an inoculation uh, to prevent this sexually transmitted disease. This is not good medicine, I, I do not believe. They, you know, not, it's, it's not good social policy. And therefore, I think this is, is, is very bad uh, to do this. To impose something like an inoculation on an innocent 12-year-old girl, I would certainly oppose that. I hate cancer. We passed a $3 billion cancer initiative, that same legislative session of which we're trying to find over the next 10 years cures to cancers. Cervical cancer is caused by HPV. We wanted to bring that to the attention of these thousands of, 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 of tens of thousands of young people in our state. Rick Perry ultimately backtracked on that policy of vaccinating for HPV. But frankly, he was the odd man out in the Republican presidential field simply for ever having tried to do something about preventing cervical cancer which is preventable. And this week, the aversion to preventing cervical cancer, the idea that trying to prevent it is a scandal, that idea seems to be spreading. South Carolina's Republican Governor Nikki Haley had a chance last week to sign a bill that would greatly expand access to the cervical cancer vaccine for girls in her state. Back in 2007, when she was a state legislator, Nikki Haley had co-sponsored a bill that would have required this vaccination for South Carolina girls. She sponsored that bill, but it never became law. Now, as of last week, the legislature in her state passed a watered-down version of her same bill from a few years ago. And as governor, she vetoed it. The earlier version that Nikki Haley had sponsored, like the one Rick Perry did in Texas, would have required the vaccination. The new bill didn't require it, it didn't require it, it just allowed the health department to offer the vaccination. So it would not require anything. It would just make the cervical cancer vaccine much more accessible in a state that is ranked in the top 10 for cervical cancer deaths in the United States. It's just a weaker version of what Nikki Haley herself wanted a few years ago. But it is 2012 now, and so Governor Haley vetoed that bill. Because being against cancer in the Republican Party is a scandal now. At least being against cervical cancer is a scandal now. What, because it's a lady cancer, maybe? There is a vaccine to prevent this kind of cancer. What is the problem?